37 and 38, uh, bigger crossbred gilts. We're going to start with 94-1, the belted one, uh, sired by Shame On Me. We've talked about Shame On Me uh, there at Moyers. Uh, Austin was sure high on this one and, and bred one of his sows, him and Bree's sows to him. Uh, it would be a lock it up distinct. It's actually a canal sow that's a hall pass's litter mate sister. Done a nice job for us. And uh, this gilt here is uh, lot 37, 94-1. A uh, little shorter litter, but, man, this gilt is, is one that uh, I think is going to be a tremendous kind of a big ring gilt. Uh, High-headed, level, square, correct, uh, awesome about her pastern set. And I think one in terms of the shame on me flexibility, uh, she offers that 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 exactly because her, her arm's set in there right. She reads true about her hip and hind leg in terms of flexibility and squareness. I think one that just keeps getting better in terms of uh, uh, being big enough in her type and kind. Uh, she's got enough uh, squareness underneath that, uh, man, this one could be an absolute monster come July and August because uh, her added look, her added design, her added balance, she's heavy structured, she's flexible, uh, those there are going to get the extra look and uh, you put more mass on them and she's bred to have more mass, uh, that one there is going to get awfully good when it matters. Uh, 96-17 is going to be next. Uh, this would be lot 38. This is the blue gilt. Uh, she's a market gilt. I, I read her as or a jackpot kind of a gilt uh, uh, sired by doing this. Uh, doing this has made them stout, square. We've had quite a few litters of them. Uh, Mother is a big step vendetta that Brantley showed in 2021 Expos at Pure Influence Reserve in that division. Uh, this gilt here is massively heavy structured. She's really stout about her uh, her shape and muscle. Her center body's good. She's still one that I think moves awfully good on the side in terms of her, her set up front. She can plant and drive out of her hip and hind leg. She's not one you just need to push on and just hammer down on, but I think she reads as a market hog in terms of uh, having the extras to be able to run with those barras. Shape, muscle, d bone, dimension, and stoutness. She is short underline. Take that for what it is. If you show her as a breeding gilt, uh, probably doesn't matter. We've won with enough short underline crosses that uh, uh, maybe gets overlooked. We just like to be transparent there with our, with our customers, but that gilt there, breeding market, do what you need to do. She's stout and burly.